we're pretty much on schedule. And thank you to Passbolt. Um, hopefully you learned a lot and you can benefit from their services and what they offer. And we can't thank them enough for being one of our sponsors this year. Okay, so we are gonna keep it moving. Next, um, a, a big part of our Cake PHP Japan community. We are so excited to have him and everybody from Japan. Everybody welcome Junichi. Thank you. Hi. Uh, it's already time me. It's good. Okay. Yeah, I'll share my slide. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so what's a great tips for Cake PHP? Uh, I'm Jun Chokuyama, and uh, this is my Twitter account. And uh, I have uh, my company. So, preparation. At first, uh, Slack Workspace and Channel, do you know? Uh, if you don't know about, oh, sorry. If you don't know about the, oh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, uh, to skip the Slack channel. <laughs> yeah. So maybe something I can't do anymore is showing. Sorry to raise the time. Okay, again. Yes, uh, this is a Slack channel. And uh, cake first is uh, when I want to ask some questions, so please answer it on this channel. So I I try to make a interactive communication by this talk. So uh, just I to, uh, try, so is something good or not? I don't know. So next one, uh, for me, I stay in Tokyo, Japan. I live in Tokyo. So now it's uh, 10 p.m. Yeah, just 10 p.m. now. And my last major is chemistry, and I now learn Spanish. And my favorite is travel and football and coffee and uh, Netflix. Uh, Netflix uh, in these days is I like uh, Paper House. And uh, Spanish name is uh, Casa de Papel. Did you see someone's? And, uh, I usually use a framework as a cake pitch three, and the main activity is a cake pitch meetup. And my cake fest activity is uh, since uh, 2015 and 16, 17, 19, and 20. So five times is uh, this uh, today. Today is a five times. So next is uh, my uh, memory. 2015. This is the uh, first time to join the Cake Fest, and my life is uh, changing because uh, what's a so interesting uh, conference and it's so uh, curiosity. So next is uh, 2006. I joined the uh, Amsterdam and then New York again, and uh, this is the last season is uh, from uh, they hold on the Tokyo. So this is a uh, Kushikatsu Tanaka. Uh, it's uh, one of the typical Japanese uh, uh, restaurant. <laughs> so I enjoy traveling everywhere. So uh, at first uh, it's Southeast Asia, and then Cambodia, and uh, Barcelona, and uh, Phuket, uh, Bolivia, Machu Picchu. There are so many places. So is anyone live there? I traveled four countries, so uh, China, Thailand, uh, Indonesia, Philippines, uh, Czech Republic, and the United Kingdom, and uh, Morocco, and uh, Brazil, Argentina, Paraguay. There are so many countries I visited. So if anyone are living there, maybe my talk is a little bit closing for me, uh, I hope. Yeah, it's virtual conference is very uh, far away uh, of the feeling, but uh, if you find out uh, it's closing or I don't know, so please make more closing for me. So you finish the preparations, already join the Slack channel. So at first question, so which is cake page version do you use it? So,
So please type, 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 type which versions for three. Yeah, three and four. Oh, four is good. Three is three and zero, no, two. Yeah, four, two, four, <laughs> two and four. Where, where is the three? Oh, there's so many. It's so interesting. <laughs> yeah. So my talk is based on the cake, which is three. But uh, don't worry the gap of the three and the four because uh, Qua Committee told me uh, three to four is a smooth upgrade. There are no gap. So uh, when my talk is based on the cake, which is three, but it maybe does work at the cake, which is four, I guess. I hope. Yeah. So question. So how do you migrate hash password from KQPT2 to KQPT3? How migrate and uh, smoothly if we can? It's very uh, there is, I I sometimes I migrate to KQPT2 to KQPT3, but uh, it's hard to from. Um, uh, so it's hard for them to uh, hash the password of two to three, but uh, cake PHP, we have a forward password hasher and uh, set using the OS component. Yeah, forward password hasher is very good. So I really want to introduce this uh, hasher. So usual case, for example, one, all the application is based on cake PHP two, and the hash logic is, of course, based on KPT2. And the hash password value is saved on database. And someday, we renew our KPT2 to KPT3. And we want to use a three default hash logic. Yeah, of course, we want to use a three. So how can you upgrade all the hash password to new hash password? Or sometimes uh, someone asks me, uh, the one website is based on WordPress, but I want to convert to KPH3. So is it same as the PHP? We can do, but uh, it's a little bit, I think at first, I, it's uh, difficult to move because uh, WordPress is a CMS and KPH3 is a framework. This is uh, just only the same part is a uh, Based on PHP, but if you use a uh, fallback hash password, is uh, everything is uh, completely solved. For at first setting the OS component, just only like uh, maybe you know about the like this OS OS and this but uh, the important thing is uh, password hash. We can sit on the, this option at the password hash. So. When we put in the, this one, and the, we can uh, use a class name fallback. Fallback password hash if we use it, and we can put in the hashes. Uh, now, for example, this one is a default hash is a first, and the legacy is a second. And if you want, you can put in three, four, five, six, if you want. But the important thing is uh, just only write down the name of hashes. So for example, I put in that this is a legacy hashes. This is a name. So uh, this is uh, already prepared finished up as the auth component. So the last is uh, we have to make a file about legacy, legacy hashes. So I like like that, uh, about uh, putting the legacy password hash across at the, this place. Mm, maybe I think we can put any place uh, if we want, but uh, the manual told me uh, to put in this, in this uh, directory. So uh, I put in this. And uh, just only very easy legacy password hash is we define the, this class. <laughs> And then uh, we have uh, only two methods about the uh, hash method and the uh, check method. This is just meaning about uh, what do you want to make a hash. So this is a uh, cake PHP2 hash logic. Just only very uh, simple about the uh, security third combined password. We can make a long text at the first and then make a uh, hash to by SHA1. 
so this is just only easy hashing logic about uh, QPG2. And the check is a uh, first uh, hashing logic and a uh, hashed password. This is just only the check equal or not. This is uh, already finished the preparation about the legacy password hasher. So uh, the fallback uh, do work like this. Try checking on the ordered hashing logic for before the case. At first, uh, we can get the frame, uh, frame uh, mistype, never mind. <laughs> frame password get from a form, and then check using a default hash logic, and uh, compare with the database hash to something. And if the default hash logic is failed, so try second logic. And then if the login is succeed, we can identify the user. Or if fourth and uh, you have put in the third hash, so we can third, fourth, fifth, we always trying. So it's very easy to migrate to KPG2 to KPG3 or WordPress to KPG3. And uh, just, just only this, this time, just only succeed the login. So the old hashed password is uh, still old hashed password. So we wanna make a rehashed. So uh, of course we have a method about uh, this one. Migrate old to new is a, uh, yeah, it's very uh, easy understanding method we have. This is a need password rehash. They the return the true or false. So you may check the necessary hashing password is a need or no. If we need the rehashed, so maybe the hash logic is used on maybe two or three, not the de default, not the first one. So uh, we may we rehash here. So we in this uh, algorithm, if you wanna rehash the password. So we can get a user and uh, get the data. This is a plain text and then hashed again. So it's uh, very easy to migrate and uh, very smoothly. So maybe a uh, user can't find out when is the system is uh, updated. So this uh, idea is very good for, because uh, we don't have a maintenance time. Okay, so next tips. Uh, this is very basic uh, tips about a uh, custom find of a uh, table plus. So usual case, uh, for example, user have a boolean status, active and non-active, and the user can choose free or paid plan. And the uh, situation, we wanna get active users or we want to get paid users, or we want to get active and paid users. So uh, custom finder is very useful for us. So just only define the find on the table class. Custom finder is just a set of find xxx at the table class. For example, yeah, users table extends, uh, sorry, users table have a find active or find paid. So if you set the only the condition on this one, for example, find active is a, is active true, or paid is a, the prime too. Just only put in the condition. So we can use uh, any situation as a custom finder. For example, uh, on the user's controller, we can get the uh, like uh, active. If you put in the active argument, so we can use the active users and the paid is uh, paid users. And uh, this is an uh, important thing, uh, thing uh, because uh, find active and find paid, we can make a chain. So the pure SQL is like uh, this one. So we can reuse the finder condition by chain. So it's very uh, useful for us because uh, for example, some cases uh, 
half commission is the same and the half commission is different. So sometimes uh, they put in the make a method two ways, but uh, it's just only use uh, like a custom finder, maybe just only uh, con contain, uh, con yeah, contains uh, more find custom finders. So uh, it's the code is very simple. Well, of course we can use uh, we can use a custom finder on the table class. For example, like uh, the before I put the custom finder by active and paid. So we can define the find premium. Premium meaning a find active and find paid. So we can make a chain and use this. So the scale is uh, like this. Yeah, yeah, uh, same same SQL as uh, we can use it. So please use so many times of the custom finder. The uh this is one topic. Uh table class is focused on the database. Yes, um uh, sometimes we ask uh, I ask them my my friends asked me about um uh, uh, where is the business logic? Gigabit 2, we always put in everything on the model, but the Gigabit 3 is uh, disappear. Uh, for for my, I think business logic is a uh, disappear. I think because uh, uh, we have to write them the, uh, each by each. For example, table plus is focused on the database, and the value is a uh, entity. And our request or response or some routing is a middleware. So everything is separated. So it's so very simple. Everything, everything is going to be simple. So be careful as a table class is only putting the relation, the validation, the find out more or less. It's just the idea of the connection, the database is a table class. And uh, next, uh, how can you avoid your logical template file? Sometimes uh, there are so many logic between the template file, but uh, I don't like this. So how can you avoid your logic? Uh, so how... Helper, yeah, it's good. Helper is good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can you can uh, put uh, insights about the logic in the helper. Yeah, helper is good, good, good. Yeah, good solution. But uh, I really wanna recommend about uh, this one. Uh, virtual property is uh, for the entity. For example, uh, virtual property is very popular. Like, of course, we have a like, bit two or three or four. Maybe uh, I don't know. Use a uh, Four, but my, maybe we have four. So, for example, Jim entity. Jim is a mega master, and uh, Jim have a value about uh, opening data, closing data, location, something, and uh, they have a coupon code. For example, uh, we we wanna show the coupon code on the template. So I recommend about the user virtual property. Yeah, and it's very easy to write them, but they have a coupon code, show coupon code, or not is just only dash dash. So when you use the template, just only one single code. So there are no uh, PHP logic. Because uh, why this is important? Because uh, we, uh, sometimes we write as, uh, Few cases, two or three or uh, ten times, to write the same code. So we want to avoid like this one has a value coupon code. Yes, we want to avoid. And uh, or we don't always use uh, HTML, but only we sometimes develop an API. So how can we API as a, as a helper? I don't know. Uh, but uh, so I recommend uh, this way is very good because uh, for example, like this one, uh, this uh, just only this one, maybe a uh, designer is very good because uh, if you for, force the de designer to use a uh, PHP logic, so maybe 
the designer have to understand the PHP logic. They may focus on the design, not only PHP logic, I think. So if this is more uh, helpful for designer, in these applications, uh, we are so many big group, uh, not only two or three, like 10 or tw uh, 12, 30, and so one, this uh, kindness is helpful for designer. So I recommend about the user virtual property. And uh, be careful if you use a virtual property, if you uh, include the JSON, so we have to put in this code. Because uh, the default is uh, don't include the JSON about the virtual property. So we want to include the JSON, we put in the Dara and the virtual is a coupon code DP, DP meaning DP uh, display like this. So um, I recommend this. And uh, that data time object is very useful, so please use it. Uh, sometimes uh, my friend is, uh, uh, my friend write on um, pure PHP code, but uh, we have so strong method at a date or data time and time object. Uh, if you set the column time is a date or data time or timestamp, so by the default, the value is automatically converted uh, date or date time object. So if we get the data from the database, already the, the value is uh, automatically data time object converted. So for example, like a uh, gym and opening date is, we can just only set the format. And this format is a uh, Japanese style. Year, month, day. So yeah, nen, month, day, and uh, the nichito, month, tsuki, uh, sorry, mistake. <laughs> and uh, or get uh, diff days from now. Uh, uh, not only diff, uh, this is just an example. For example, diff in days is, uh, I'm gonna recommend this. So, and put in the today. So the opening date, and uh, that today's, which is this uh, about, uh, for example, celebrate for the year or celebrate for months or something. So it's very easy to find out the different days. And uh, mm, yeah, this is, uh, sometimes I use RGS, but uh, I never use it, but maybe someone use it. So the end date, the, for example, coupon end date, we put in the end date and uh, it's future is a return the boolean about the true or false. So if uh, end days is future, so hurry up, or if the fu uh, not future, so sorry, finished. So it's very simple and very easy to put in. And uh, I wanna talk about the data time object, so a little bit uh, spin off. <laughs> spin off the entity at, uh, for if you get the time today, for example, today is uh, nine. And uh, so we can get the uh, start of week and the uh, end of week we can get. So uh, for example, if I get the start of week is a uh, fifth and the uh, end of week is uh, 11th. So um, if you use uh, like this, uh, you want to make a weekly counter, for example, uh, how many people are using the coupon on this week? Or, so it's very easy to uh, find out about like this. So uh, created is a start of week and uh, the end of week. So we can make a counter. Uh, sorry, af after we, we may make, make a counter, but uh, just an example, mm, it doesn't matter. So yeah, not uh, entity classes focus on the data or value. Uh, I already told so no no so talk uh, two times or three times. And uh, data time is class is very useful. So please use it. Uh, don't put in your pure PHP method. Yeah. Maybe almost of the something if you wanna is uh, everything already finished, already prepared about the data time class. 
seriously, I think. So, question. And this is a little bit、uh, how can you set environment value? How can you set environment like a test environment and a developed environment or some environment? Of course, a production environment. So, how can you set the environment value?、Oh, no one answer me. Uh, you use a different page for oh, 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 it's good, 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 good. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, it, it's good.、Uh, so, uh, this is a、uh, young one, and this is my friend. Okay, uh, tips uh, this is a、uh, use a p p l o c a l p h p or dot m, maybe. You almost of you use a bro a p local or the t e m maybe I guess so. I always use a dot m and a dot m plugin. I always using, but uh, one once uh, one time a day I found out a little bit a surprise comment, <laughs> big surprise because uh. Using dot m risk at a comment out table. I don't know why. So, so <laughs> we may we may more pay attention about the risk, but、uh, only comment out table. So I can find out. So, if you have a curiosity, you may check your file about a、uh, uh, Sorry, this is based on the cake bit three. So,、uh, app config bootstrap is line 52. It's highly discouraged to use that in production. Uh, it's always uh, be careful. And the、uh, app config and dot m default file is the same, same meaning as the security risk. Be careful. So、uh, we find out. So、uh, during、uh, cake pitch meetup at Tokyo, we, we make a discuss about、uh, these things. <laughs> What, what's happened about the dot m file? And then I read,、uh, we read、uh, for, for them, for them, for them. So I find that、uh, uploader.php,、uh, appconfig bootstrap、uh, line 79. The 79 just only comment of the, this one.、Uh, of course, I know .m is a comment out too. So dot, .m and uploader, both of them are comment out it. So,、uh, We, we discussion、uh, which is better. Why is there so、uh, both is comment out? Maybe、uh, dot m is、um, very important. We think so. We make a discuss and read a manual. So we find that uh, English manual on right hand, the how to use the app local dot php. Maybe、um, No, in Japanese translated, I guess just only English version is a l i g h t down. I think so.、Uh, I don't know the truth, but my memory is correct. Maybe in, only English l i g h t down. So we check and then read. So、uh, it's very easy to use in the a p p l o c a l p h p、uh, At first, you may put in the display a p p l o c a l Dot PHP、uh, like put in the, this、uh, directory and then set the parameter like this. For the,、uh, this is just only a broker and、uh, just a comment.、Uh, so just a comment a、uh, broker loading. So just override a p dot PHP configuration. Just only、uh, override. So it's very easy to use it. And,、uh, and this is, I show you the dot m file. Yeah, just only config dot m is put in the same variable. So we can get using app.php access via m method. So, which is better? The result is a case by case. You may think <laughs> it's a very good answer for, for us. We have to think which is better for our project because、uh, the GitHub m a k e a great、uh, make a discussion about、uh, like、these issues. The number is、uh, 707. If you can 
find that uh, you may type this one. So uh, the meaning is uh, there are so many things, but uh, the why case by case and why is uh, depend on the project because uh, they use uh, in the Kruger not uh, answer proper safe. So there are so many uh, so many cases to uh, to control the environmental barrier. So we may think which is better. So um, you may read a comment as text. Uh, you can find a treasure. Yeah, it's a very important things. And uh, this is the last tip. This is the so shortly. Uh, show already line SQL. Just only data source and uh, the value is a uh, log uh, true. Maybe default is a uh, log is a false. I guess so. Someone sometimes uh, they try to debug code to writing, but uh, for example, we uh, we have to think deeply. So why we wanna check the log? Because maybe something wrong. I think so. Don't believe your code because there's something wrong already. I guess so. Um, the debug code is. Uh, it's and sometimes very uh, good, uh, easy, and uh, frankly, but a uh, log file is uh, very, uh, very simple and very strong way because uh, that is a fact. So uh, sometimes we want to use a debug kit, or, uh, but uh, when we developing an API or some errors has occurred, so we can't use a debug kit. So the log true is a very good way. So, any questions? Uh, no questions? Can can you explain why dot m is a single disk? Yeah, we. We discuss about uh, dot m at uh, sorry I I try to check my blog because uh, it's not my idea but uh, some uh, some genius man uh, answered me <laughs> just a moment. So why dot .m is a little bit, uh, uh, be careful about the user dot .m is, uh, uh, the performance is uh, decrease. Performance is going to down because uh, environment environment is always uh, right wing, right wing, right wing. So the performance is going to down, I heard. And the security risk is uh, maybe uh, outside of the PHP uh, when using a value. For example, app.local is uh, inside the PHP, but uh, .m is outside the PHP. So I think the application uh, is be careful about the security risk, I think. So, but uh, I don't ask uh, committers. Just only we discuss. So, if some committer can answer, so please answer these uh, questions. Uh, Ikeru, is someone can answer? Uh, and if you were to have meetings, that's fine. It's just Mark can answer me. <laughs> no, no, no. Answer them. Uh, no. Mm, maybe that is an our result. <laughs> is uh, anyone have a? Yeah, when no skips the photo of J Japan. Uh, mm, never mind. 
Okay. <laughs> Uh, Jessica, turn in video. Yeah, yeah, yes. So, no more questions. Uh, 